Well, the oldest band I had when I killed a goose on the Colonial Parkway, and he was banded in Canada, and he was 20, had been banned 22 years. He was trapped in band, so we don't know how old, exactly how old the goose was, but the band had been on his leg for 22 years. This is my grandfather. He was born 1843, he died 1931. He was a slave. He ended up in Michigan, and he worked away from Michigan back down in Virginia in horse and buggy. He lived to be 88 years old. He also hunted after s slavery. I got married in, in 48, and uh, I raised three sons, and uh, I started them hunting, and I bought them all guns and rifles, and I took my boys, started taking my boys hunting when they was six, seven, and eight years old. And I used to carry a little stern old stove, try to keep them warm duck hunting. Yeah, you know, keep the hands warm stuff. <laughs> because my father was a hunter also. He used to hunt turkeys, deer, and quail. Yeah, my father started hunting, and he was hunting definitely for the food. We, everything we, he killed, we ate. And uh, I, then I came along, started hunting, was the same way. And then I got into it, my son and I, we started hunting for a trophy, and uh, we didn't kill everything we see. Well, I started turkey hunting when I was about 15. I think I killed my first turkey when I was 15 years old. And I've been hunting turkeys ever since. And then I started my son turkey hunting with me. Yes, I lived in Virginia my entire 90 years. Yeah, I hunted this season, but I only killed one gobbler. And uh, ran on my own. Yeah. And I went back, I killed a nice gobbler. He was uh, 20 pounds, a, nine, a 10 and a half inch beard on him. And uh, big boy. That's one of my pleasures. I like to kind of show it off a little bit. <laughs> show the, what the big boys do. <laughs> Only one took it up. My son, James Jr., he took it up hunting with me, and we've been hunting ever since. You know, growing up in a hunting environment uh, with my father, it was more so of him uh, babysitting us. And the only way that he could go hunting, uh, say, pretty much uh, all the time was to take us and never did kill anything at that particular point in time because he was so busy shooting and having a good time. But again, uh, that was a part of hunting that, that really uh, instilled or, or say created this monster. You know, I was in the era before, say, uh, the Mossy Oak, the Bill Jordan. This was a time when hunting really started to grow into my family, again, through my father, his father. I sat in on my first seminar and I said to myself, that is something I wanted to do. I wanted to get up on stage. I want to tell people how I had been successful in hunting. In 1987 was the start of my collection. That's when I had my first full body deer mounted. And from that time on, uh, I start every big buck that I kill, I would get a full body deer mount. At that time, nobody had a collection of full body deer mounts. So I figured to give it another twist, uh, mount the whole deer, and it took off. Uh, from that time on, uh, I got featured in numerous magazines, North American Whitetail Magazine, four page article, Buckmasters Magazine, five page article. Uh, I've gotten to the point now where I pay more attention to filming than I do actually going out in the woods and hunt. I got more out of carrying other people hunting than actually hunting myself. Being behind the camera has been a game changer for me. Uh, uh, everybody can tell a, a story about the big buck that got away, the big turkey that got away, but when you got it on film, you can show it to the whole world. And that's what, that's the point that I've gotten to today. Oh yes, and the feeling of hunting is something that you have to have when you lose it, you, you stop hunting. And I, I get just as much pleasure hunting today I did when, when 70 years ago. I'm 90 years old and I still uh, care my tree stand in the woods and I hang my stand and I climb the tree and I still kill deals and I still pull them out by myself. Why not? What's another wrong with me? Yeah, I'm going to continue to hunt this fall. I'm looking forward to hunting the fall turkeys, then uh, start hunting the uh, deer. As a sportsman here in Virginia, it's just endless what you can do. Uh, 
12 months out of the year, you can do everything you'd like to do in the outdoors, from camping, fishing, hiking, boat riding. We have fresh and salt water. Uh, all of this is available through the Department of Game and Inland Fishery, uh, places that you can hunt and fish with a special permit.